So the ice core facility that we're trying to build at the University of Alberta is due to start construction next month in March 2016 and it should be completed uh, in October or November 2016. Well the reason it's coming to Edmonton is because we have probably a bigger collection of people who have a history of working on ice cores uh, for various reasons looking at climate change, looking at the history of deposition of pollutants for instance from the atmosphere uh, into ice cores and for looking at the biology of ice. Uh, here in Edmonton. So traditionally the main interest has been in reconstructing past climates and these ice cores contain ice which goes back to the last glaciation, so over 10,000 years ago and maybe as much as 80,000 years ago. So they provide that information at relatively high resolution, so in young ice near the surface we can probably see monthly resolution uh, in the climate as we get further back in time then the resolution degrades, but certainly we're on the order of decades, maybe at say a couple of thousand years ago and centuries by the time we're 10,000 years ago. And it gives you quite a diversity of information about past temperatures, past precipitation rates, and more recently a whole range of different atmospheric contaminants from trace metals through to organic pollutants, flame retardants, are all being deposited in the ice and we can be see when those things started to be deposited, how the concentration has changed, and how much of those contaminants are sitting in the ice, potentially going to be released back into the environment as glaciers melt in a warming climate.